Hi, it's May here. This is a natural time of year to reflect back on where we've been and look at where we want to go. And to help you do that, I've asked a small select group of people to share their key success habits and how that's helped them in their careers. The people I've selected are ones that are very senior and who've had great careers, are having great careers, and are successful at it, um, based on any measurement. People like Paul Pullman, CEO of Unilever, Michael Crow, president of Arizona State University, Craig Weatherup, former CEO of Pepsi-Cola, and there's another handful of select other people just like this. And in addition, what's really important is I also chose them because they are all great people. They're just good human beings. And the reason I did that is because I want to make sure we remember that good guys do not finish last. In fact, I'm a strong believer that being a great person helps you to have a great career and helps you to be a great leader. So their key success habits are all below. They stand on their own and speak for themselves. So what I want to do here is share with you some of the things that I took away from this. First, looking at these key success habits, I discovered that they really fall into four categories and most of them fall into more than one of these categories. So the first category is about grounding, as in being self-aware and grounded, two feet on the ground. And this took the form of a daily grounding, which is really, um, so, so for Craig, he has three things he does every morning, which he says makes him a better person, a more complete leader. Paul Pullman has five steps that he takes every morning. So the first category is daily grounding. The second category is focusing your time and attention on what matters the most. And it's also about keeping your uh, plate clear so that you have the capacity to focus on those things. And it's also about making sure that when you focus on something, you drill all the way down, you look at the details as well as the big picture, and uh, it makes you get it done. The third category is about openness and reflection. And this is summed up by words like curiosity, being open to new ideas, um, being willing to challenge your thinking. And it's also about populating your mind with new and different pieces of information. It's about reading voraciously about areas that are outside of your specialty so that you can get insights into and understanding of and empathy with the rest of society. And that can help you to be really much more successful. And it's also about setting aside enough time to be thinking, reflecting, and being strategic. Then the fourth category was respect for people. And this is all about how you communicate people, how you treat people, and being a positive uh, force when you're with others. Then stepping back even further, as I was thinking about all of these really successful and great people and how they came up with these key success habits and how they matched, it occurred to me that there were three things that really jumped out at me. First, that these success habits all seem to revolve around these three key fundamental areas that we all need to have uh, mastery of in order to be successful. It's about how you work on yourself, how you work on the business, and how you work with people. So those are just so foundational, and, and that totality is um, all underpinning these, these success habits. The second observation I would make is that these people put these success habits to use on a regular basis. They habitualize them. I guess that's why it's a habit, right? But they put them into practice. It's like the use it or lose it. They were the using it group. And, uh, you know, it's always about, uh, all about taking action. And then the third observation is that each of them were choosing things that were linked to who they are and who they want to be. And it was very, very um, tied to their own specific situations. And that's what made it so engaging and energizing and so much easier to put it into a habit. So for you, what I'd urge you to recognize is that there's no single right key success habit. 
You just have to come up with your key success habit that works for you. One that helps you to lean into your strengths and helps you remind yourself of who you are at your best and helps you to be that best self more of the time. So if you can take some of these key success habits from these successful people and adopt them or adapt them or modify them and make them work for you, great. Definitely go for it. But the most important thing is that you take action. And the action is, what is your key success habit? Whether you had it already and you want to lean into it more or whether you want to create a new one for the new year, either way, let me know what is your key success habit. Share it in the comments below. And if you're watching this from anywhere other than my blog, then head on over to maybush.com forward slash blog, and I look forward to welcoming you there. And in the meantime, I wish you and your friends and your family a wonderful, happy, healthy holiday season.